Pneumonia refers to an infection within the lungs where the airspace has become filled with fluid or pus. Sometimes you'll be able to see dense consolidation in a specific area of the lungs. Uh, in the case on the left, you can see that there is some dense consolidation in the right lower zone with obscuring of the right heart border. In other forms of pneumonia, particularly atypical pneumonias, you may note a more widespread opacification of the lung parenchyma. Pneumothoraces are often small and can sometimes be difficult to identify. Uh, in this case, the patient has a massive pneumothorax and you can clearly see that there is an absence of lung markings on the left side. You should not normally be able to see the pleural edge as it is closely tethered to the chest wall. However, in this case, you can see a very clear pleural edge. Compare this to the normal chest x-ray on the right where you can see lung markings throughout both lung fields. Pleural effusions can be pretty obvious if they're large. Um, on the left-hand image, we can see a clear meniscus. Um, but smaller pleural effusions are much less obvious, which is why it is important to inspect at the costophrenic angles. The image on the right at first glance looks relatively normal, but in fact the left costophrenic angle is blunted. And it's worth bearing in mind that it actually takes quite a bit of fluid, around 200 mils or so, uh, for a pleural effusion to actually be visible on the chest x-ray. Patients with decompensated heart failure are very common on the medical take list, uh, so you'll inevitably come across a lot of chest x-rays that look a bit like this. Uh, first of all, you will note widespread fluffy alveolar shadowing, uh, which occurs due to the presence of fluid in the interstitium. You're also likely to notice that the cardiothoracic ratio is increased. Upper lobe diversion refers to the prominent appearance of upper lobe blood vessels as the pulmonary vasculature attempts uh, to adjust to the presence of fluid primarily at the bases by diverting blood towards better ventilated regions of the lungs. Some fluid will also leak into the pleural space, resulting in a pleural effusion. Interstitial lung disease is a group of diseases that are characterized by scarring of the lung tissue. It classically gives rise to a reticulonodular appearance. Uh, this is a radiographic term that refers to a combination of looking nodular, i.e. the presence of small nodules, and looking reticular, i.e. looking like a net. The changes may be widespread or may predominantly affect a certain region. Small lung masses may not be particularly easy to visualize in a chest x-ray, especially if it is obscured by other structures like the heart. However, abnormal masses are important to note as the patient is likely to require further investigations. In the example on the left, a large irregular mass is visible near the left hilum. On the right, you can see that there's a large mass within the upper lobe of the right lung containing a small cavity. This feature is most commonly associated with squamous cell lung cancer. Bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy refers to enlargement of the hilar lymph nodes. When you inspect the hilum, it looks much bulkier and more obvious than it would in normal chest x-rays. Causes include tuberculosis, lymphoma, and sarcoidosis. In patients presenting with acute abdominal pain, an erect chest x-ray may be requested to check for air under the diaphragm. The presence of air under the diaphragm is suggestive of a perforation. It may also be seen in post-op patients who have undergone a laparoscopic procedure as carbon dioxide gas is used to insufflate the abdomen. Thank you.